This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. On this Wednesday, the 3rd of May, the day that I'm doing my webinar at 4 o'clock for subscribers, you can join. Uh, go to the TFN front page. This is a perfect time for it. All right, let's just go through the uh, the, the Dow. This is 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's up 37 to 33,720. Had a very sharp gap down pullback yesterday. This is not quite a – I'll talk about this in my show coming up. This really didn't fulfill all the requirements for a Chapman Wave a Roman candle um, reversal right here, big red candle. It didn't close more than halfway above the uh, full body of the candle. We'll talk about that. Meantime, I'll just say that if after 2.30 this afternoon, the Dow is more than 110 points down, that means that we're probably going to be going down for at least into next week. And if it is up more than 80 points even or 90 points, <clears throat> That is a pattern that I'll talk about in my show coming up and I'll talk about in the webinar based on the nine period moving average under the 40 over the 14 period moving average. Let's just run these real quickly. The S&P right now is up 14 at 41.33. Uh, this will hit the 14 period moving average this morning. Now it's trying for the nine period moving average, which is still over the 14. That's a positive. QQQ, looking at the QQQ, it's up $1.11 at 3.20. The IWM has been very weak. Even today, it's uh, it's rallying, but it doesn't look very good. This is what we need to focus on. Gold, gold had a very nice spike to the upside uh, overnight. It's still up to seven, um, about a dollar, let's say 2023. So far, this is good action. The nine period moving is just over the 14, but you have to wait for the close today. Looking at the dollar, the dollar really struggled to hold again yesterday and then closed kind of so so. Today it's down 39 ticks at 101.55. And the bonds, this is going to be fascinating with the Fed coming up. The bonds are up, so yields are coming down a little bit. And crude oil took a real dive. Uh, yesterday and following through to whoa, following through today, down 2.74 uh, at 68 point. Ah, oh, the Fed. I'll talk about that in the show coming up. What what is the Fed going to do? They're looking at weakness based on the international economies, especially based on the crude oil, and yet the housing market is up there. Uh, uh, hotels are fully booked. I'll be back in a few minutes for the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my webinar coming up today for and my opening call daily newsletter. See you in a few exciting sessions coming up.